friends. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, I am coming you to, to you today pre-recorded. Um, I am working on keeping a good two weeks away, uh, trying to kind of rest and recharge. And I don't know, a lot of, I think my plans for this time are really to uh, like, you know, do really interesting vacation-y things like um, clean the house and catch up on laundry and uh, I don't know, really exciting stuff, right? Um, but hopefully uh, there'll be some time in there for finishing some knitting projects and getting some, some reading and writing done. And then um, hopefully at the end of it, uh, maybe a couple nights away with the family at Iwalu. That's the plan right now, at least. So uh, that's kind of my roadmap in these couple weeks. Hope that you are doing well. Um, really look forward to catching up with all of your stories and getting to kind of chit chat with you uh, in this time in person when I am back. But in the meantime, um, we get to still see each other, which is pretty lovely. Today is Friday, so um, we will be praying the examen together, and um, this is a really great thing uh, that uh, you can do anytime. So I'm pre-recording. You can show up whenever you want or find it later, um, but a really nice way to reflect on your day or on your week, um, thinking about all that's happened and trying to frame it um, by, by seeing where God is in all of it. So prayerful reflection on our, our days and on our weeks. Um, and we do this on Fridays, but certainly um, something that you could do really any day. It's not a Friday thing. It's an any day sort of thing, but I am glad on Fridays to be able to uh, walk with you through it. And as we've been doing recently, uh, walk with you through it and then uh, provide you a little bit of beauty um, as we send each other off into the weekend. So. As we get going today, um, if you have a candle nearby, go ahead and light that. Get yourself comfortable someplace where um, you, can, you can feel at ease and you can hear yourself think and you can uh, hear, hear what's going on in, in your head and in your heart. Um, so get comfortable, clear away some distractions, uh, do whatever you need to do in your space to uh, feel like you're able to to hold this next 15 minutes or so, uh, kind of quiet and sacred, whatever works for you. And then when you are settled, when your candle is lit, um, let's take a deep centering breath as we begin our reflections together. As we invite God into our midst, we pray, God Almighty, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. Help us to remember the events of this day and this week with clarity and with honesty. As we reflect together on the time you have given, and that which we know not, reveal to us. That which is wanting in us, fill up. That which we know, confirm in our hearts and keep us blameless in your service through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As always, we begin with reflecting with gratitude on this past day or week. What three things, dear ones, are you most grateful for right now? Even the smallest things count, things from today, things from the last few days, this last week. Um, but pick three things for which you are grateful and lift those up before God in gratitude. In thanksgiving for God's blessings, we pray. Almighty God of all mercies, we humbly thank you for your goodness to us and to all that you have made. We praise you for your creation, for keeping us and all things in your care, and for all the blessings of life. Give us a daily awareness of your mercies and grant us thankful hearts that we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives, sharing the gifts of your divine mercy in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Next, we reflect on the presence of God in our day or our week. What is an event, interaction, or thought you've had where you seemed to feel the Holy Spirit moving in your life? This could be the word or action of another person, a moment of self-awareness, a sudden insight that came to you, a leading of your heart, a coincidence that you could not ignore. 
What is one place in this day or in this week where you felt the Holy Spirit moving in your life? Lift it up and give thanks for it. For the gift of God's presence in our lives, we pray. Gracious and holy God in all things, give us diligence to seek you, wisdom to perceive you, and patience to wait for you. Grant us a mind to meditate on you, eyes to behold you, ears to listen for your word, a heart to love you, and a life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Next comes renewal. This is where, with humility, we reflect on our need for forgiveness and transformation and changed hearts. What is a time in this last day or week where you recognize your need for God's grace? This could be a moment where you strayed from God's hopes or where you wavered in following Christ. It could be a circumstance where you failed to act in love a time where you turned away from God or a moment where you let yourself be limited by anger or fear. What is a time in this last day or week where you recognize your need for God's grace and forgiveness? As we turn again toward God's mercy, we pray. Holy and gracious God, we confess our brokenness before you, all the ways that we have not lived your love into this world. Some of our sin we know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which we are ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask forgiveness. Deliver us and restore us that our hearts may be transformed and we may rest in the peace of your gracious and unfailing love. Amen. Next, we reflect on our needs and the needs of the world and we make our requests of God. What is one thing that you would request of God today for yourself, for others, or for our world? I always say you probably have many, many requests, but I encourage you to pick one of those needs and hold it in your heart and lift it now before God. As we lift our petitions before God, we pray. O most loving God, you empower us to give thanks in all circumstances and to lay all our cares on you, knowing that you care for us. Enable us so today to hear the words of faith that our fear is dispelled, our loneliness eased, our worries calmed, and our hope reawakened. Grant that the needs, fears, and anxieties in this mortal life may never hide from us the light of your constant love, shown to us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Final movement in our reflections is the reset moment, where we make our intentions for the coming days. What kind of person do you want to be in these coming days? I invite you to think of one particular quality or practice or spiritual di discipline that you want to focus on with God's help.
As we trust God to reset and realign our hearts and minds for the days to come, we pray. Into your hands, almighty God, we place ourselves, our minds to know you, our hearts to love you, our wills to serve you, for we are yours. Into your hands, incarnate Savior, we place ourselves. Receive us and draw us after you, that we may follow your steps. Abide in us and enliven us by the power of your indwelling. Into your hands, O hovering spirit, we place ourselves. Take us and fashion us after your image. Let your comfort strengthen, your grace renew, and your fire cleanse us, soul and body, in life and in death in this world of shadows, and in your changeless world of light eternal, now and forever. Amen. Today's reflection um, is a piece of music composed by Stephen Paulus uh, using words by Michael Dennis Brown. It's called The Road Home. Um, it is this, this song for anyone who uh, might be feeling a little lost, um, which, you know, eight, nine, however many months, six, seven, eight months we are into pandemic, many of us maybe uh, are feeling a little bit directionless and lost. So if uh, that's your place right now, then uh, this, this piece of music today is especially for you. Um, but I feel like wherever any of us are on our journey, uh, we can find a little bit of ourselves in this absolutely beautiful music today. Yeah. 
O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, this day and always. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. May you know Christ's peace today, and may you share that peace with one another and into this world. Um, I will uh, see, see you virtually uh, again on Wednesday and next Friday. Um, and then uh, the week after that, come back to you in uh, live and in person. So uh, be good to one another. Take care of yourselves. Um, keep up your prayers for each other um, and the love that you really send out into this world on each other's behalf and um, on, on behalf of um, probably our whole community of faith. So um, friends, I miss being with you um, and look forward to when we can uh, get back together again. But uh, in the meantime, um, peace and blessings be with you. Uh, have a good evening, a good weekend, um, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.